What is up YouTube and back again with part two of our series and today we are going to be installing the UTG Ambidextrous 4590 Safety Selector. Now uh, I really like this selector. We're going to do a short video. It's a very simple install. There's not much to it. The only thing that you have to really know, do and choose is if you want 45, which are these two close or the, four, the 90 degree. So what that means is that when it gets put in here into your firearm, do you want it to do a full 90 or the other option is right there, 45. So you can do a short or a full. For this video, we are gonna do a full uh, 90 degrees. So pretty much the detent, if you flip it over here, the detent will connect here and it takes 90 degrees of turn for it to fully engage um, the, long, the long side. Now that's machined uh, purposely like that. So if you notice there, there is a 45 and a 90, it's kind of hard, but you can tell it's, it's just good. I like these, these are good quality, they got a good feel on them. So very simple install. Got the Durkin uh, adjustable trigger in. This just slides right in, right? All parts that I do have are supplied with them. Uh, in this kit, you do get a um, spring and you do get the safety detent. Uh, I like to use the manufacturer supplied product when I'm doing these basic installs. And if something that I don't like, um, you know, I'll adjust later, but I like to give them the benefit of the doubt and, and try it out first. So once that's installed there, there's a few things you can do. Um, the most simplest is, is with this one, because it is adjustable, it does have a long and a short option. You can do that on either side. So I'm gonna do the long side on my dominant hand, and then the short side is gonna be over here. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna slide that on there. It will click in just like so. This kit does have the screw provided. So you just get that in there and use the Allen key provided with the kit. You just kind of lock it in there. So you're gonna screw that in there. It's very simple, anyone can do this. You don't need any extra tools for something like this. Um, some some people have cool tools, it makes, it makes it easy. Get that snug in there. There is a little bit of play. Come back over here, you know, make sure this side's snugged. This side is snug, all right. So all that play will go away once we install the detent. Now, I have done this a long time. The easiest way that I have found is to flip it upside down, get my Strike Industries. Now, to install fully install the trigger, you're gonna put your safety detent spring. This is hard to do with a camera in your face. You want the pointy side down, you can take your spring, push it in there. Did you see when I pushed it in, it locked in and now there's no play. So most grips, uh, the A2, they slide in. These are gonna slide out, they're not the easiest. So what I like to do, put that in there, just take my hand. I don't like to do it with too many like specialized tools. I'm sure there's multiple ways to do that. Let me adjust the camera here. So that's in there. Give it, before you tighten anything down, you always want to just give it a check. Man, that is, that is tough. So we're probably gonna end up swapping out that safety selector uh, pin. Like I said, drop that in so it's just standing kind of straight up. Get it. So I'm not gonna edit this video so you can see how it really is. And you're just gonna end up tightening that down. Now you just wanna look, make sure that that spring is in there. All right, so now that we got the grip on, um, it's not fully installed, as you can see it is a little loose, but what you kinda wanna do is flip it over. I do have, obviously that's threaded in there a little bit. And you're just gonna wanna check. All right, so. There is some resistance. It's not gonna feel perfect. You're not, everything is installed. So I'm gonna tighten this down now that I feel that all the springs and the pins are in the right spot. Let's get this one in there. 
I really like this grip. This probably is one of my favorite from Strike Industries, the 20 degrees. It just feels so good in my hand. Everybody's different. So, um, yeah. So, Strike Industries gives you these great little plugs here. Um, but that is the basic install of this trigger. It is pretty grip. Mm. Maybe it just needs to be worked in. Go in there dry, that's kind of what happens. Seems to be working itself out.